What's up guys, it's Maxwell and this is episode 36 of my Let's Max Tunnel 10 series. Today we're getting another level on the king and we're checking out some Lavalunian raids inside the Champions League, so let's get into it. And we are actually gonna check out this one where I attacked the Tunnel 10 which is relatively close to max but the air defenses are lacking one level, so that's pretty nice of course with the Lavalunian attack, so I'm pretty sure you guys all know this base, it's a pretty uh, yeah, familiar one, uh, a lot of people have been using that in the past. There goes a perfect free spell into a Tesla and that Malta Inferno. And that was all that was needed in this case to um, absolutely destroy the space and steal the Dark Elixir. Actually got the Town Hall out of the way as well. So um, I am having raids in the Champions League with not quite as much uh, Elixir. So as you can see, in this case I was able to steal only about 120,000 Elixir. But uh, 3,200 Dark, however, I got the full League bonus. So that's 200,000 in Champions League 3. So that makes it 330,000 elixir for this raid, and still positive on the elixir. Um, and yeah, obviously a huge gain on the dark elixir with uh, an investment of 1,200. That's a gain of about 3,000 dark elixir. So yeah, Champions League is certainly nice uh, for that. And then we can check out this one as well, where I went up against. Um, I think this is a Super Max Tunnel 10. Not quite. There's a couple of walls left, looks like, but I think all the buildings should definitely be maxed. So coming in right here with two haste spells on the corners and the rage spell in the middle and then I have two more rage spells for the core as well as one free spell for uh, that inferno and I also froze um, the enemy queen right there so in this case the balloons were converging perfectly on that inferno tower so that they were able to actually splash down the dark elixir storage with one blast of their um, bombs and then uh, I actually missed out on the town hall for this one but that's not so bad because um, 3400 dark elixir stolen plus a nice leak bonus of about 1000 Dark Elixir makes for still a positive rate and uh, I've got about let's say 170,000 leak bonus of Elixir. This army costs 263,000 so uh, once again positive on the Elixir although I did not steal that much Elixir. And then for this one I actually attacked the tunnel 11 right here so that was pretty interesting. I started off at the top with uh, one balloon I wanted to check if there was any Teslas because those spots just seemed too uh, suspicious right there. Actually there was a skeleton trap so I um, got that lured out and I'm gonna kill it with minions up top. We are gonna <coughs> speed through this one, excuse me, a little bit because uh, it's not that interesting. Just dropping a couple of minions on those skellies and then I'm gonna drop three balloons and a haste spell to take care of that expo. Just so that I will be able to um, kill those dark elixir drills later on the raid. Actually missed out on the Tesla right here, but then I went in with uh, the spam and um, There was another dark elixir drill at the bottom so... Um, yeah, sort of converging. I was trying to get the eagle out of the way, just so that I could, um, yeah, take out the rest of the base freely. And it actually worked out pretty good because the minions were able to take care of the Tesla and then also the eagle artillery. And there was a couple of minions on the town hall taking that out. So in the end, I was able able to pretty much bully the town on eleven for seventy percent into two stars. So that was pretty good. And obviously, I got. Um, yeah, close to 5,000 Dark Elixir with the League bonus. It was uh, 6,000 Dark Elixir for this one, and also 300 and uh, no 430,000 Dark Eli uh, regular Elixir. Excuse me. So a very cool rate right here. And yeah, you're sort of getting the theme I think of uh, Champions League. You don't always get that much loot, uh, but um, the League bonus is of course way better than in Masters League. So it's sort of a trade off. I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, I think I might drop trophies again, but let's check out one more rate first. So this is actually the very last raid that I just had, so found a pretty uh, rushed Town Hall 11 right here, and that's sort of relieving. But I want to talk a little bit about um, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the league and where to be as a Town Hall 10, especially without heroes, because um, that's of course always my struggle or my desire to find out the best place to be without heroes, where farming is the best or the most chill. Um, I went up for, to Champions League just for because I had never done it on this account and because I thought it was pretty cool to get that badge, get a lot of loot along with um, the Dark Elixir, farm up some walls, and that worked out very nicely as well. I'm going to show you my walls in a second because I've been making some pretty mad progress on that. Um, but uh, I'm definitely of the opinion now that it's better to be a little bit lower in trophies. So uh, currently I'm also playing on another Tunnel 10 account which is around um, 25 to 2600 trophies 
and I'm really finding a lot better loot a lot faster and sometimes I'm searching on both accounts or this account and the other town center account at the same time so um, obviously the town hall level is the only thing that determines the loot you find so um, because of that I can say that um, you're definitely finding amazing loot at, at around 2500 trophies right now so um, I'm definitely considering dropping this account down in trophies again as well because uh, sometimes it can be a bit tough also depending on the daytime sometimes uh, I'm just uh, hanging around in Champions League not really finding anything and really struggling and then I end up hitting bases with like 3000 Dark Elixir and 80,000 elixir which is not very satisfying to me so um, yeah as I said I'm considering dropping again I'm not quite sure yet but uh, don't be surprised if in the next video I am at a lower trophy count again but uh, yeah that's that so of course this raid was sort of a bonus sort of a chill one and nice to three star a base without heroes because this was so um, such a weak base and uh, obviously uh, yeah with the Champions League bonus of 200k 200k and 1.2k dark pretty huge rate as well so that's gonna do it for the rating for today guys let's head back to base and as you can see I'm pretty close to all level 10 walls actually let's check my progress base right here and yeah check it out guys those uh, six walls in the middle right there are all that is left for me to get up to level 10 and then I'll be all good to go so I definitely went crazy since the last video I don't have the wall count uh, in mind for my last video but yeah as I said six walls left so I got 269 at level 10 or level 11 now which uh, certainly feels good and I'm uh, yeah, kind of satisfied to get that out of the way because um, then we will be able to focus more on Dark Elixir again, more on defensive, the defensive buildings and yeah, I don't have to think about walls so much. I think it's just that ugly to have a level uh, uh, 10 town hall and don't have level 10 walls. So that's why I wanted to get those out of the way as quickly as possible and also of course because um, then you need uh, three max level wall breakers to break the walls. So yeah, been doing really good on the walls as well. Alright guys, so as far as the builders go, we've got another one finishing up in 2 hours and 8 minutes, so you guys know that I will be throwing that into the video as well. We are probably gonna get another Tesla then, or maybe another Expo, I'm not quite sure. Could either get a Tesla up to max or another level 1 Expo, I'm sort of debating on that, but for now we are just gonna spend the 156k to get a King up to level 34, so that's rolling. So got the hero upgrade out of the way for today. And as I said, I'll be back with uh, the builder that is finishing up in two hours. Alright guys, so I'm back now. I definitely want to put my uh, defensive building down now, but um, I didn't have any time to farm yet, so our options would be to upgrade something for um, 3.9 million gold or to get a new building. And I kind of want to do a wizard tower because those are 3.7 million, so uh, pretty good uh, gold spend. Um, Obviously we have two more expos to build and then a bomb tower, so I'm probably gonna build the bomb tower first and then the two expos after that and the inferno towers I'm gonna build those when my queen is level 40, which is of course not too far away, but yeah, for today we're just gonna go with another wizard tower, that's a pretty good upgrade as well, and yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, hope you enjoyed, until the next one, I will see you all later, peace out.